New Technologies in Metallurgy and Material Science Graphene, lithium-ion batteries, hydrogen steel making are some of the examples of new technologies in metallurgical and materials engineering. Additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, is a transformative approach to industrial production that enables the creation of lighter, stronger parts and systems. Graphene is a single layer monolayer of carbon atoms tightly bound in a hexagonal honeycomb lattice. Graphene is the thinnest compound known to man at one atom thick, the lightest material known with one square meter. Graphene applications, high frequency electronics, energy storage and generation, ultra wide bandwidths, photodetectors, biochemical and magnetic sensors. Lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries power the lives of millions of people each day, from laptops and cell phones to hybrids and electric cars. This technology is growing in popularity due to its light weight, high energy density and ability to recharge. First. Whittingham developed the first functional lithium-ion battery in 1976, good enough brought in a major improvement in 1980, while Yoshino made the first practical use lithium-ion battery in 1985, appearance in 1991. Commercially manufactured lithium-ion batteries based on what Yoshino had developed made their first. Lithium ion batteries working. Batteries convert chemical energy into electricity. A battery comprises two electrodes, a positive cathode and a negative anode, which is separated by a liquid chemical called electrolyte, which is capable of carrying charged particles. The two electrodes are connected through an electrical circuit. When the circuit is on, electrons travel from negative anode towards the positive cathode, thus generating electric current while positively charged in ions move through the electrolyte. Solar power storage, emergency power backup or UPS, dependable electric are some of the lithium-ion batteries usages. Proskites. Proskites are a class of materials that share a similar structure. They are also predicted to play a role in next-gen electric vehicle batteries, sensors, lasers, and much more. Thin film silicon solar cells and ceramic high temperature superconductors are some of the proskite applications. Hydrogen steel making. Hydrogen is a clean fuel that is being increasingly used in both transportation and power generation applications. Additionally, hydrogen is being explored as means to decarbonize industrial processes that have struggled to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, including chemical production, hydrogen as a heating source, and iron and steel production. 
Traditional iron ore reduction utilizes a chemical reaction between iron oxide and carbon monoxide sourced from heating coke fuel in a blast furnace. Coke is a hard, prose, nearly pure carbon product made by heating coal in absence of air. In 2017, every ton of steel produced resulted in an average of 1.83 tons of carbon dioxide emissions. That same year saw a global production of just over 1,864 million tons of steel. At current slide, you can see the hydrogen steel making process graphically. Thanks for watching. Stay connected, keep watching, like, share, and subscribe our channel.